Hi everybody, it's great to know that you are so happy with our hair care segment. So today we are back with more hair solutions and we have Dr. Vinay. Hi everyone. Most of us have a problem of dandruff or itchy scalp, something that we face during the summers as well as the monsoons and now with the monsoons really revving it up and climatic change happening, gosh, we all do require this solution. So Doc, we have to know what is it that causes dandruff or itchy scalp and how can we reduce this? So basically, uh, when you say uh, dandruff, it uh, is a normal uh, word which is used by everybody to talk to. But if you see medically, it's basically scaling of the scalp. So you see a lot of uh, scales of the scalp which are falling on the shoulders and you, know, you see a lot of ads where they uh, actually make this more prominent as if the, there's snowflakes falling across. But ultimately, they are the scales of the scalp which are falling. Now, this scaling can happen due to many reasons. Most common is having uh, a fungus infection on the scalp which leads to scaling and that actually uh, uh, is very commonly known as a dandruff problem. Probably have people thinking that it would only be because of dryness but you can have an oily scalp and still have dandruff? Yes. So basically uh, it's more of the hormonal activity which leads to oiliness of the scalp. So people if you see they have a lot of uh, acne issue. Mm -hmm. So the same issue happens on the scalp also. So more uh, oil activity is there on the scalp. Now this dampness which is there on the scalp, it leads to some amount of humidity on the scalp leading to a fungus infection. So the fungus itself forms onto the scalp and that area leads to more scaling. And whenever people are brushing their hairs, you, they can see those scales falling. Now this can also happen if somebody is not taking good care of their scalp also. So doc, what we are normally taught is we are supposed to oil our hair, you can use curds with a mixture of lime and that kind of reduces this and of course aloe vera. All these home solutions are something that we have all been growing up with you know. Correct. But uh, someone who is facing this problem over a longer period of time, how do they address this? I mean there are so many medicated shampoos. Uh, in the market, how do we know which is the right one? If you say medicated shampoo, the most important ingredient in a shampoo to take care of your uh, dandruff issues or the fungus infection is the ketoconazole shampoo. So most of the anti-dandruff shampoo would address this particular problem and the other uh, shampoos which are there in the market, they would actually help scaling of the scalp. So once the scales are out, normally you do not see the dandruff falling but the fungus can still be there. So somebody who is actually uh, suffering from it and it's a recurring problem for them, it's best that they visit somebody who can look into the scalp like a dermatologist or a trichologist and after a look into the scalp, if it's a basic dandruff, they can definitely uh, recommend them some medications like oral tablets also for few days and a normal shampoo which takes care of this particular type of scaling which is there because of a fungus. So once that is taken care of, normally the problem would reduce. If there are any illness which is there, which is also leading to uh, scaling, that the doctor can uh, definitely have a look and the treatment would vary. But most of the people, yes, a good uh, hair care regimen wherein they are uh, properly shampooing their uh, scalp so the scales are out would normally help them get rid of the dandruff issues. Another very important factor is um, due to our climate, there's natural oils in our scalp uh, I think it's called sebum, sebum yeah. and um, how do you reduce that? I mean, does it help by washing hair every single day? Is it good to wash your hair every single day? There's no issue in washing your hair every day. Even if you use a shampoo on a regular basis, there's no issues. Most of the people worry about using shampoos which are a lot of chemical ingredients and they feel ki that can actually damage their hairs. So guys, if you need to wash your hair every single day, it is important to choose a right shampoo and uh, sometimes you need that medicated shampoo if you do have a problem of oily scalp or you have a recurring problem of dandruff. But doc, apart from just dandruff, there are more serious issues that affect the scalp like psoriasis. Psoriasis basically is an autoimmune condition where you have a lot of scaly, silvery uh, scales happening on your skin affecting mainly the elbows the knee, sometimes the scalp also. 
skull sores is also known and that actually can affect your hairs also but how different is it from dandruff then dandruff is a very superficial affection of the scalp okay wherein the superficial layer of the skin is affected but psoriasis is slightly deeper and it affects the complete body it affects the joints also in psoriatic arthritis so when it is affecting the scalp and the you have to uh, take particular care it's not as simple as treating a dandruff you require a proper dermatologist uh, opinion and it's a long term treatment and uh, it involves multiple therapies to silent the disease to take care of the irritation and the itching which is there so all this basically requires a proper supervision of a doctor to be uh, treated it's not as simple as a dandruff where you can the, even the people themselves can uh, get rid of it so you mean to say the way to differentiate psoriasis and dandruff is that you would also find scaly or itchiness in other, other parts, parts of, of your body, body. Yes, yes all right so we need to address it by going to a doctor asap like correct. really correct. immediately correct. Correct. okay and the treatment is long term and there are multiple things like steroids being used cold tar being used even ultraviolet light is used to silent the illness they are sometimes even put on drugs like methotrexate to uh, silent the disease but doctor like you said this is an autoimmune disease so uh, even with all these treatments does it completely go away or does it come back again it actually uh, keeps on flaring up wherever there is stress coming in with more and more stress it normally flares up even with obesity it is known to flare up and with the treatment it remains silent for a longer time so it's important to understand that certain treatments can't be done at home so while we can use natural therapies to remove dandruff psoriasis can lead to more complications so it is important to go to a doctor to a trichologist who can help understand and solve the problem for you so if you have any more questions you can write to us or call me directly on the number given below